Hello, and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. And welcome to another episode of Separate Ways. I hope you all had a very good week, and I hope you all are looking forward to today's episode. In the last episode, we um, fought the giant. We seen Wesker, which was very, very strange. And uh, <clears throat> we told us that, uh, well, we're not going to help you unless you get us the amber. So, in this episode, I wonder if we're going to get the amber. Let's grab our drinks, let's grab our snacks, and uh, let's get into this. probably didn't plan on coming back here, eh? Well... Plans do change, no? Are you angry? You're angry. There is this one thing I must do before I can recover the Ember. Before? This is not a negotiation, Louis, so choose your next words carefully. Whoa. Listen, there is someone who needs my help. You know me, always the good Samaritan. Let me guess, Leon? Yes, exactly. Leon and that young woman, they are both infected. They need this medicine. It slows the infection, and I know it works. I used it on myself. So, and Why I... does this matter to me? Because you two are infected. It's what I researched for all these years, Ada, and I see the symptoms already showing in your eyes. You must already feel the effects, eh? The medicine will stop them for a time. Just trust me. You have a lot to gain and nothing to lose. Okay. But this is your last chance. We do this first, and then the Amber. I'll let Leon know. Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. See, come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, shall we? <clears throat> There's a hidden laboratory downstairs. My stuff should be there. Along with the suppressant? <sighs> okay, so that's that's right. So we do have a lot of supplies, I forgot. Alright, so we're doing good for supplies. Now I guess I should reload the shotgun. Not that I need it right now. Um, reload this up. Okay, we are good to go now. What would I do without you, Ada? Be parasite food? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. There's something burning. That doesn't sound good. Mierda! Ada! They're here! Oh, of course they are. <laughs> oh, gee, look at them all. I uh, run. You know what to do. Uh. 
No, no, no! We can't let the medicine be destroyed! Luis! Let it go! <sighs> Luis! I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, he doesn't want the medicine to be destroyed, and the medicine is pretty damn important, I'd say. Don't inhale the smoke. important to you there are things I must set right but that is impossible now it's all over and I can't help them anymore pull yourself together Luis make more you know how just do it guess it is possible The ingredients are all here, in the castle. Yes, I need time, but I can still get you your amber. All right then, let's go. We can go back up this way, then figure out our next move. I kind of feel bad for him, to be honest. <clears throat> like he knows that he's done a lot of bad. So he wants to uh, essentially repent for the things that he's done. Um, as you guys know from earlier in the episode, or earlier in the series when we did the main game, um, you know he worked for Umbrella, and he was he's partly responsible for creating Nemesis. Um, Who are you working for? Whether he knew that they made Nemesis or not, that's a whole other thing. I had a different view on him before. I thought that he didn't care about anybody, didn't want to, you know, he didn't really care about anything. But, you know, I, it turns out I was wrong. <clears throat> um, you know, he does want to help, obviously. And, you know, he knows the things that he did wrong. You know, as he says, there are things that I have to basically fix. There are things that I have to pay for. <clears throat> um, you know, like working for Umbrella, doing all the research for Sadler and all that. And if he can help uh, Leon and Ashley survive, if he can help uh, Ada be cured, you know, then you know what? Then that's good enough for him. Shit. I must have dropped it. What if I, what if I drop down here? Oh, really? I didn't. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that you could uh, do it that way. Okay, so he dropped the key, that's fine. Okay. Won't be my finest effort. But it might just work. Ada. Find these ingredients. And just maybe I can make a new batch of medicine. Time's not our friend. You go. Find them? I will go grab the amber. Wish me luck. Okay, so suppressant ingredients. We need these. One red ink bindery. Golden bottle treasure room. Blue butterfly collection room. The materials in the ink, the yeast in the bottle the substance in the scales of the butterfly wings each of these uh, special properties will require to make the suppressant if i extract the ingredients and mix them both the chemicals oh mix them with the chemicals i have on hand that should do it this is where we part 
<clears throat> Good luck. Likewise. <clears throat> I love how Ada, uh, Ada right, acts first. like this, you know, hard ass. That's basically like, look, if you don't get what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill you kind of thing. Realistically, I don't think she would. Obviously, it's just a scare tactic to make Lewis do what he, you know, uh, to make him, <clears throat> to make, I can't even talk today, to make him do what she wants. I mean, if you look at Resident Evil 6, you know, and Resident Evil uh, 2, original, the remake of 2, right? She wasn't really going to shoot Leon, you know, and, um, you know, he, uh, and she um, saved Leon a bunch of times in Resident Evil 6 as well, um, you know. So she kind of makes herself out to be, you know, she doesn't care if she's kind of heartless or whatever. But deep down, we know that she does actually care uh, for the people around her. Hmm. A raccoon. Guess this is fate. <laughs> Fun fact, in, the, in Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake, uh, one of the um, accessories that you can wear uh in the um there's like a set of mini games uh i forget what they're called they're basically like extra stories um if the character survived so like there's one for uh the mayor's daughter there's one for kendo and there's one for one of hunk's uh soldiers and they're all stories and pretty much if they survived kind of thing and I forget what they're called. I forget what it's called. But one of the accessories that you can get for the characters is a uh, raccoon that they can wear on their head. It's kind of funny. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, so I remember in either the first episode or the second episode, I was saying that there is a weapon. It's a uh, weapon that is pretty good. Um that we were going to save our money for. That weapon is the Red 9 in the stock. It's very good um, <clears throat> compared to the other one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Actually, we've got a few things we can sell here too. Um, let's see here. So we want to sell that for 5000 I guess. That's all we can. And then we'll buy this. And I should really buy the stock for the TMP. Okay, so we also need... Oh, we have the upgrade for the thing. Okay. Um, okay, so we definitely need this. And we really need this. Um, yeah, okay. So, now... What we should do is make the memo, I guess. Um, okay, so let's make... We're definitely going to need some TMP ammo for Pacento later on. Um, going to make some shotgun ammo, too. Actually, no, no, we'll make a blast arrow. There we go. Very, very good. Um, I guess we'll load this up. And, okay, so I don't, so you do get the crown in this as well for a, um, a treasure. I can't remember exactly where to get it, though. Okay, um, really? Loud cars and stuff outside. Okay, so what was I going to say? Oh, so for the spinals, spinals, I don't know if I explained this or not, um, but you actually use them for, uh, for these this time around. Uh, actually, I must have, actually, I must have talked about it because I have claimed some items, it seems, so I don't need to get into that. Um... Okay, let's continue on. Let's save this up now. Perfect. All right, so let's attach that. And we want to put this. <clears throat> oh, they're already in their perfect spots. All right. 
Um, do we need... Alright, so we don't need the crossbow right now. Let's drop you in there. Um... I don't need anything here right now. It's okay. So we're okay. We are absolutely okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Okay. So this one I kind of remember. Okay. So I know this one. Uh, needs to be an umbrella. You go up there. Um, you go there. And there we go. first ingredient should be in this room. Okay, so this is the room where Ada and Leon first meet, if you guys remember. Um, so, as you can see, we, we came from this way, and now you know how this door is unlocked. So there is a puzzle uh, in this room. It's actually quite easy to do. Grab the treasure first. Um, yeah. Oh, we got a red herb too. That's useful. Okay, so um, we, if we turn this thing here, we'll get a nice printed piece of paper. I've prepared a way to acquire the ink. Get shooting. Julio. So, what we do is we do... Uh, uh, I think it's... That one. That one, that one, I think. Nope. Huh? Mm, I can't remember. Conveniently, now that I have to do it. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Okay. So it's this one, this one, that one. There we go. That must be the ink. And now we got the ink. Six years, that is one hell of a greeting, Ada. You don't seem surprised. Interesting. <laughs> Try using knives next time. Better for close encounters. Not a bad move. Very smooth. So who are you working for this time? Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town.
Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. You walk away now, and who knows? Maybe you'll live to meet me again. And then I might get you that greeting you were looking for. You think I'm gonna give up that easy? Right. How about we continue this discussion another time? Okay, I think we are on the way to get the bottle now, I believe. So it looks like we have some treasures. There are some treasures we can't get, though. That's a locked treasure, so we can't get that one, sadly. Um, how many did I miss? Castle Gate. I missed that one. Yeah, okay. Now, this part is going to be really cool. Oh, I think I did, yeah, I did the wrong one by accident. Snake and... Snake. Yep, spinning blade. It makes a return. If you guys remember that from the original Resident Evil 4, <clears throat> you had the guys on that machine with the blade in the front that uh, they drove, and you had to use the sniper rifle to shoot or handgun anything uh, to kill them so they wouldn't uh, kill Ashley, if you remember, because there's a gate that closed, and you had to take them out before they got to. Uh, well, like I said, before they killed Ashley. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. They make that uh, return. I didn't expect that to come back. So that was really cool. Okay. All right. So now we're in a nice, in a nice area of the castle. It looks like, you know, kind of a museum. You have some nice, you know, cups and plates and stuff here. Some really nice things. I wonder if you can actually read what they say. I'm going to say I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, I didn't think so. <clears throat> but it's still really cool. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got some scales. That's pretty cool. What's over here? Some more cups and stuff. <clears throat> Looks like something goes here. More plates. And you can't break the glass on these things. And we got some chalices and stuff. A nice looking cross. Oh, not scales. Yeah, more. Hmm. Wonder why that guy's in a suit. Oh no, the light went out. What are we gonna do? We have to run because there's those guys there. You guys probably figured that, uh, you know, they're gonna come alive. But if we're quick enough, we don't have to worry about them.
and you need a key for that. So we got the gold bottle now. Thought so. And yep, now we have to fight these guys. Apparently I can't shoot at all. That's one. Huh? Oh my, I don't know why I can't shoot anything today. There we go. Okay, so now we're, what we're gonna do. If they're going to use a flash grenade, just get rid of them. Oh, look at that. Now we have arrow guys. That's all of them. Yeah. Oh, you're behind the gate. That's weird. I never had... Really? That's strange. Oh, you know what it was? Because if you pull that open... If... Yeah, I... Okay, I know why. Because all my other playthroughs, they somehow both come out. Really? I was a little confused because in my other playthroughs, uh, usually, uh, they would be out, you know, um, really, I tried to grab it, didn't let me grab it, um, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> say took way too long to die all right all right all right we need silver okay so those are the ingredients one ingredient left oh yeah we got one left i forgot oh breaks over i suppose 
Blue medallions. Okay, so we got more medallions, I guess. Welcome, stranger. Well then, what can I do? A deal well struck. <laughs> Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. Oh, 20,000. We only have 30,000, so maybe we won't do any upgrades. Pleasant travel. Okay, Louise. That's two. The last one should be in a room accessible from the castle wall. You bring them all to the top of the wall, and I'll have your amber. Oh, and here's some more info I've recovered about that old rock. Sending it now. Okay. So this part coming up, you know, can be a little bit of a pain in the ass at times. Okay, um... Alright, let's go. Oh, right, there's a treasure. We gotta go back and get a treasure first. Okay, so let's... Oh, ah, I went too far. I didn't want to do that just yet. Yeah, if you guys remember the moon... Um, so, in, so instead of getting the two pieces this time around... Uh, oh my god, stop. This guy's annoying, like I said. So instead of getting the two pieces for that stone uh, like you did in the original... Um, you only need to get one you know and it's actually fully put together this time around um okay there's another one here whoops oh come on there we go um oh there's a bad guy there nope nope Really? Oh, there's a Google uh, wiggly worm monster. Come on. So for some reason the flash grenades don't really like to work on him. Found you. I'm empty. What? Okay. The other oh shit. God damn it. Okay, so we're gonna use the flash grenade. <clears throat> Didn't really want to use it right here, but I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, so there's another medallion if he would stop doing his stupid thing. Uh, really? Crap. Get off of me. Come on, knife. Or not. Fuck it. Get back here. Yeah, no, you're not running away. What I 
whatever, it doesn't matter. We still have to go and get that, uh, um, oh crap, uh, what do you call it? The, um, medallion here. Where's the last, oh right, I remember where the last one is. It's right over here. Oh crap, get off me. We get a butterfly lamp, we get that, and a green herb, and another flash grenade, which is nice. Uh, okay. Get out of my way. Okay. Oh crap, there's another one. So the fun part is now trying to find him, but I think, yeah, he's right there. Look at that. Real Come on. Oh my god. Okay, so he's over there. So he's going this way. I don't know this one. Oh, I think he went this way. It's really annoying. Like honestly. areas shut the heck up finally okay so now we have to go back to the beginning yeah this part can be a real pain especially if you're doing like a speed run or whatever you're trying to get through it pretty fast. Okay. And we use the moon. It's really cool that they how they added these little things. Okay, so now we're finally going to get the last ingredient. business to take care of. Yep. So, what's become of the amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. Leon, changed your mind yet? Yeah. Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? I should check below. I wonder if 
No, okay, I can't. I was gonna see if we could go the other way, because it says there's more treasures over there. This must be the collection room. Okay. So I already know the uh what do you call it? The, the puzzle for this. Um but I guess I'll show you guys though. Proprietor, prepare, yeah, proprietor. I guess note. Uh, the collection master is a tacky and lousy boss. He leaves all the dissections for me to do. Even if he bother, even if he does bother to come in here, all he does is gob at his three favorite specimens in a particular order before leaving. Nothing special with him anyway. Who would look at those three specimens when we have that prize butterfly to admire? A good researcher would know these things. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that before. You can actually see. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> I never noticed that. And this is the thing that you can change different colors, right? That's what uh, the person that said online there. So let's take a quick look here. Display. Let's try red. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Alright, let's put it back to blue or whatever the default was. We can do green too. That's cool. I remember. And I've been kind of thinking about maybe doing a, a, a short series on it, maybe. Um, on the Resident Evil 2 on the um, Nintendo 64 <clears throat> um actually has a um, special feature that allows you to change the blood color of the enemies. So, like, instead of it being red, so say you're shooting down zombies and a zombie dies. Now, you know, in the original ones, um, you know, the pile of blood, pool of blood around them, right? Um, originally, obviously, be red. But in and it's the only Resident Evil game I know that you can do this even to this day, um, as a feature that you can do that. Um, yeah, you can change the color. There's red, green, and blue. So you can have uh, green blood when the zombies, you know, something like monsters or blue blood. It's actually really cool, and being able to change the iris thing, I don't know, it's kind of made me think of that. Maybe maybe I'll do that one day. Um, come winter time, I usually <coughs> do. Um, and before I get off topic, the reason why I'm not pressing X is because actually, you know what? This is technically the end of the episode. So what I'll do actually is I will let the cutscene play out, and then I'll explain it at the end of the episode. So you know what? I don't want to take up too much time here. So we got the blue butterfly. everything you need good and I got exactly what you want ah. oh that's not good the parasite is reacting to the amber so that's the amber that looks like something Wesker would want This will knock out the parasite. But 
only for a time. You ready? Alto salud. Just remember, it's not a cure. We still need to find a way to get that thing out of you. Understand, it should be working by now. Take the ember and go. Once the parasite is sedated, you can give me back that damn stone. I can't leave you here. Not like this. Spare me. I'll be fine. You got another promise to keep. All right. But you come find me. As soon as you're done here. Alrighty, that was quite interesting. Um, so I wonder if Lewis actually... So uh, it only showed him do the one, right? Um, but he still has to give Leon um, his shot of the uh, suppressant. So it makes me think, does he go back and make more? Or does he make more later on? Um, <clears throat> I want to assume that he picks up his case, uh, runs somewhere safe, makes another one, and then eventually when he meets up with Leon, um, in the caves, you know, that's when he gives him his shot. So let's, uh, let's save this up here. Okay, so what I was saying earlier, before um, we ended the actual episode, um, about the iris and the change in the eye color and going into the whole Resident Evil 2 64 version, changing the blood color and such. Um, every year, I play through Resident Evil 2, the original, as a... Um, a tradition and something that I've always done for many years unfortunately last year I was not able to, to do it <coughs> I got about actually maybe not even halfway unfortunately and um, you know it was very unfortunate so what I was thinking this year if I can if the recorder and the emulator and all that crap worked properly Perhaps I will play uh, Resident Evil 2, the 64 version, um, on the channel. Now, I'm not saying that it's definitely going to happen. I'm not saying uh, look forward to it or anything. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Maybe it's something I'll do. I don't know. Um, at least that way, if I do it through the channel, I know I'll have that playthrough done. And, uh, hey, who knows, maybe I'll actually be able to do uh, Claire's this time. Because um, on the actual um, series playthrough, if you go through the playlist of Resident Evil games, I only have um, Leon's, I don't have Claire's. Um, and if I do have Claire's, then it's literally just Claire A and Leon A. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Separate Ways. Um, and I guess we will have to see what happens uh, next. So until then, have a very good day.